Danielle, here are little pieces of steel. And if I sprinkle them over the top of this cardboard like this, see that circle? Yes. So what do you suspect is underneath there? A magnet. What makes you think that? Because magnets pick up metal things. Yeah, you've made some magnets, have you? Yes. What? Well, um, we made electromagnets and they picked oh, up paper What'd you clips. pick up? Paper clips. Okay. How about an eraser? Did it pick up that? No. Okay. Now, <clears throat> If I take this little piece of paper with an N on it and put it there, what do you suspect that that pole is? The North Pole. Yeah. And if I sprinkle these steel bits over the rest of this, like this, you can see there are other magnets under there, right? Right. And you see those little S's and N's down there? Yes. Okay, what I would like you to do is to put the right N or S by each one of these, depending on what you see is happening with these. If that's an N, what's that? It's a south pole because they're attracting. Okay, there's an S. Place the S there. Okay. Then if that's an S, what's that? That's an S because they're pushing away from each other. Okay, got another S, okay. Now, what's this? That must be an S because they're pushing away and these two okay. are attracting. S. Now, there's no doubt about what the other one must be because there's only three ends left, right? Right. So what must that one be? And then. Now, there are two ends left over. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. If I lift this up now. Here was the one that I started with, right? An N. How about this one? Were you right on that? Yes. 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 Congratulations, you were right on every single one.